So as I said, to improve oxygenation, what do we do? We improve, increase the, for improving the oxygenation, we increase the peep, increase the peep, okay? So peep, what is this peep? Peep stands for positive and expiratory pressure. So when we apply the peep, the alveoli remains expanded and O2 CO2 exchange happens from a wide surface area. So oxygen, oxygenation of the patient improves. So PEEP prevents collapse of alveoli, collapse of alveoli. So what we do, we give the patient a minimum PEEP of 5 centimeter of water and if it is required, we go on increasing it till the target oxygenation is achieved. The other way to improve the oxygenation is by applying FiO2, increasing the FiO2, right. We start with 100% oxygen and we try to decrease it to 60% as soon as possible. We tighter between PEEP and FiO2 because if we will give a very high PEEP, FiO2 also, then there is a risk of oxygen toxicity, risk of oxygen toxicity. So we need to control our FiO2 as well. And if we keep a very high PEEP, there is a risk of barotrauma, there is risk of barotrauma as well. So we need to control the PEEP as well. So we tighter at what minimum PEEP and minimum FiO2, we achieve just adequate oxygenation, just adequate oxygenation. Got my point? So if patient has a very high FiO2 and low PEEP, when oxygenation has to be improved, we increase the PEEP. If patient has a very high PEEP, and low ox FiO2, we increase the uh, FiO2 of the patient. We balance at what minimum PEEP and minimum FiO2, we achieve just adequate oxygenation. So we titrate, titrate PEEP and FiO2 for oxygenation, oxygenation, okay? Now ventilation, now ventilation, two factors are responsible for maintaining the ventilation, tidal volume, and the respiratory rate, respiratory rate. For tidal volume, we normally start with 6 to 8 ml per kg body weight. We can increase it, right, to 10 ml per kg body weight if adequate ventilation is not getting achieved. Respiratory rate, we start with 12 to 14 breath per minute. We can increase it to 25 to 30 breath per minute, right, if adequate minute ventilation is not being achieved. So these are the two ways by which we detect oxygenation and ventilation.